Hello everyone, my name is Adrian. I'm Nick. And welcome to another episode of Connect. Uh, today we're going to dive deep into the Simpling software framework, the SDK, um, and how we can actually extend that software through plugins. Uh, so we brought in Daniel Ogilvy from the Simpling platform team uh, to talk a little bit about some of the plugins that we have and why it's important for developers. Yep. Uh, so thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks. Glad to be here. Awesome. Uh, so maybe from a high level, you know, why should developers care about extending our baseline SDKs? Yeah, so a common challenge we saw was that customers want to be able to expand uh, what their application can do um, in a quick and easy way. Um, so what we developed is something we call plugins. Um, essentially what they do is they sit on top of our SDK. Uh, they utilize TI drivers and the, the RTOS um, and just add um, additional functionality. Cool. Okay. So uh, when you're talking about plugins, can you expand a little bit about what type? Are we talking for sensors, for different connectivity? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. both of those. Um, okay. One of them is a sensor and actuator plugin. Um, so what this does is it allows customers to easily add TI sensors as well as some third-party sensors into their application. Um, additionally, motor drivers, um, push buttons, LEDs. Uh, just really makes it quick and easy to add functionality. Um, the next kind of category, like you mentioned, is, is connectivity. So adding Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, um, or TI 15.4 to an existing application. Um, and then the third kind of category is cloud partners. So working with cloud partners like Azure, um, AWS, um, adding these IoT partners uh, makes it really easy to, to um, get your data from the edge to the cloud. Cool. Okay. And then you mentioned sensors. Um, you know, we've had a couple of guests on the show diving into some of the different technologies we have in the platform, mm -hmm. whether that be 15.4, uh, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, being able to add some sensors to that kind of allows developers to, I guess, take a more system level approach. Exactly. Um, you know, what, what type of sensors are there? Do you have any examples of some TI sensors sure. you have in the yeah. platform? Yeah, so, so right now we're pretty much focusing on environmental sensors. So we have temperature and humidity um, with the HTC 2010. Um, we have light with the TMP are the uh, OPT3001, uh, temperature with the TMP007 and the TMP117. Um, and the great thing is that we're always adding more of these plugins as TI is developing new products or as we see sensors that our customers want to be able to interface with. So uh, you mentioned some of the sensors that are supported and one of them was a temperature sensor. So if a customer wanted to maybe say start with their application using a temper temperature sensor plus sub one gigahertz connectivity mm -hmm. and then decided that they want to um, you know, kind of move it over and use temperature sensor plus BLE. Is that something that the plugins enable? Are they supported on multiple devices? Yeah, they are. So that's kind of the beauty of the plugins is since they sit on the TI drivers and the RTOS layer, um, they're easily ported between SDKs. Okay. Um, additionally, they sit beside the SDK, so it's really easy to integrate them with, you know, really any of the SDKs. Um, and additionally, we, we test them um, against each quarterly SDK release. Okay, so they're updated with the most recent SDK that's yes. released. Um, cool, so I guess uh, if a customer is looking to kind of expand and be able to quickly diversify their product offering uh, with either sensors or different connectivity, the plugins kind of give a quick path to that um, mm -hmm. compared to maybe a different ways exactly. of addressing it. Um, and another nice thing is a lot of these plugins complement our booster packs. Um, so we have plugins specifically designed for booster packs like our Boost XL dash sensors or the um, CC3120 Wi-Fi booster pack. Um, so that way you can take this hardware plugin module, use a software plugin, and uh, really just expand your system very quickly and easily. Okay. So it's really taking a, a modular approach, both from a hardware but also a software perspective That's to right. help developers rapidly build a system. Exactly. Very cool. Um, and where can customers get started with, uh, get, with some of our Simplink plugins? Yeah, so a great place to start is ti.com slash Simplink SDK. We have a lot of training material around the plugins hosted uh, within Simplink Academy. Um, at dev.ti.com. Very cool. Awesome. Great. Well, thanks, Daniel. Appreciate you being here and yeah, explaining thanks. a little more about the uh, SDK plugins. Um, thank you guys for joining us on this episode of Connect. Be sure to get started. These plugins are really cool to add functionality. Uh, so go to ti.com slash Simplink SDK. Get started with these plugins. If you have any feedback on topics you'd like to see on the show, uh, you can tweet at us at Sensor to Cloud. And be sure to tune in next week. We're going to have a really cool hands-on demo that you won't want to miss. Thanks, guys. Thanks.